It's February. It is the hardest month of the year for me. By February, here in Ohio, it's very cold. We've been cooped up indoors, and I am so ready to get my hands in the dirt and get out of my garden. But here on the border of Zones 5, Zone 6, um, we still have a little while before the last frost. Typically, our last frost date is somewhere in the beginning of May up to about Mother's Day weekend. That's when we plan on planting out in our garden. And, um, of course, we'll start some spring crops earlier than that. But really, our heavy gardening season doesn't happen until May. So we have quite a few months to go before I'm going to be out there really working in the dirt. So winter sowing is an option here in February. It's something that I can do to kind of get a start on my gardening season. It makes me happy to be putting seeds in dirt and I don't need to go outside to do it. The great thing also is that you don't need an expensive greenhouse in order to grow plants with this method. What you're doing is you're making a little greenhouse out of a clear plastic jug. So this is our fifth year doing this and what we do is we take anything from um, like a clear milk jug, we use our apple cider jugs, and there's juice containers, olive oil, um, plastic liter bottles, any kind of plastic that will allow light to penetrate through it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut some drainage holes in the bottom and you're going to cut around it to make a hinge like this. Get rid of the cap, you don't need that. And what you're going to do is put your soil in the bottom, plant your seeds in it, seal it shut by putting duct tape all around where you cut, and then label your jug and sit it outside. You can sit it out there even in the snow and it's going to be okay. And then what will happen is come March, uh, as the sun begins to shine a little more and the temperatures begin to warm, just like in a greenhouse, the temperature inside this jug will be a little warmer than the air around and the seeds inside will begin to germinate. And by beginning of April, you'll come out here and you'll have little plants already ready to go. No need for you to water because the rain and the snow goes through the hole in the top and waters the plants for you and creates condensation in there so that they're taken care of and the plants are happily watered uh, without your help. And there's no need for you to deal with grow lights. The other benefit of this is there's really no need to harden them off. When you grow plants indoors under grow lights and then move them outside, there's a hardening off process to get those plants ready for the um, harsh light from the sun, which is very different from an artificial light indoors. But with the winter sowing method, that isn't necessary. All you do is in March or April, you pull your duct tape off, you unhinge it, and the plants can just continue to grow like this outside. So I prefer to use this method with my cold hardy plants. And so by that I mean things like my greens. Um, I'll do mustard greens, uh, bok choy, things like that. My brassicas, like my cabbage, my kale, um, broccoli, brussels sprouts, cauliflower, anything like that does really well for me in these plastic jugs. And so that is how I've done it for the last several years. To save space inside under my grow lights, I do my cold hardy stuff in the jugs, and then I start things like tomatoes and peppers indoors. The problem with starting a tomato or a pepper in your um, jug like this and doing the winter sowing method is that typically those Tomato seeds are not going to germinate until maybe later in March or in April. And by then, you're going to want to already have a substantial size tomato plant. Typically, you want to start your tomatoes about 8 weeks before your last frost date, with your peppers even up to 10 weeks before your last frost date. So using the winter sowing method just isn't going to allow you enough time to get a nice um, size pepper plant for your for your garden. But... It works great for cold hardy plants. We love doing this. And so that's our um, project for today. We're going to get started. And it makes me so happy to kind of get our hands in the soil and do just a little bit of planting. Now let me show you the two ways that you can um, use the jugs and plant inside of them. There are two ways to do this and both of them work well. One is just a little more convenient if you have the materials on hand. So let me show you the difference. So the first way to do it is just to take your jug and fill the bottom of it with your soil. You can use a seed starting soil 
or a potting soil. I've used either and both work just as well. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Use whatever you have on hand and you're going to put the soil in there, plant your seeds directly into that, seal it up, stick it outside. And then later on, when you go to transplant, you're just going to have to kind of dig your uh, little seedlings out of the soil in here. A little bit more convenient way to do it is to save your, um, when you buy plant starts, they come in these little containers, I guess, that have the separations in them. And you can kind of cut them to fit inside your bottom of your jug like that. And you can fill those with your soil and plant the seeds in them. And then when it's time to transplant, just like as if you had bought a uh, plant start, it's much easier to kind of pull your little seedling out of those separated containers. But either way works. Today we're going to do a mix of both because I don't have enough of my separated little things on hand. They're somewhere out in my barn and I'm too lazy to go get them right now. <laughs> so we'll be doing a lot of just um, filling the bottom of the milk jugs. Why don't you come along with us while we get started on this and then I'll show you how we seal them up and label them and get them outside. All right, I'm just getting things set up. Um, when you're going to have children planting seeds in your house, you want to get organized before you bring them down. <laughs> so I, to do this, I lay out a blanket. I get my um, soil in a big bowl for them, set in the middle of the blanket to try to contain the soil spillage. <laughs> and then I'll get a couple spoons and some measuring cups for them to measure it out to fill the jugs for me. We've got all of our plastic jugs here lined up so that they can fill one and grab it. You want your duct tape on hand to seal up your jugs and then some permanent markers, sharpies to label your jugs as you go. And then obviously the last thing you want are your seeds. So here is what we are planting today. We're going to be doing some pak choy cabbage. We're going to be doing cauliflower, collard greens, several different kinds of spinach. We're going to do a little bit of Swiss chard, uh, several different kinds of cabbage, several different types of kale, some Brussels sprouts, some Osaka purple mustard greens, and then some red auroch. So that is what we're sowing today, and I'm going to get the kids down here and get started for what will probably be a big mess, but it's very fun for them. So. The jugs are all sitting out here on our deck. This is a nice spot for them right now until the snow thaws and I can move them out to our garden space. You just want them somewhere where the wind can't tip them over and on our back deck here is a nice protected spot for them. And then as soon as the snow thaws, we will, um, or I guess when it gets a little warmer, right now our temperatures are down in the teens and sometimes lower than that. So I'm not in the mood to move all of those milk jugs out to my garden today. But as soon as it warms up a little bit and maybe the snow thaws, I'll move all of those out to the garden space. It's ideal to have the jugs in the place where they're going to be planted because they'll get used to the amount of sunlight that'll be there. For example, if I left those jugs sitting on my back deck, it can be shady there for a portion of the day 
and um, it's just not ideal for the plants. You know, we want them in, in full sunlight. So we'll move them as soon as we get a chance, but we do need to, as I mentioned, watch for wind. So if you're going to just set them out in the middle of your garden space, you might want to put a stake in the ground, take some twine, and kind of loop it through the handles of your milk jugs and hold that in place to that stake. That will keep them from blowing away in a windstorm. Um, other than that, it's that simple. A couple months, we'll go out there and I'll be surprised. I'll look in the jugs and find beautiful little sprouts or little plant starts that have grown with no effort beyond this point on my part. And it's just a wonderful thing and a great way to get some plants started without um, having to spend money on an expensive greenhouse. And now our next project here coming up will be to start our indoor starts, which will be our uh, peppers and tomatoes first, and then we'll move on through the growing season. For a detailed list of when we're going to be planting everything, I will be posting pictures of our calendar and our schedule on Instagram, so make sure you're following us there. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, but it's just a really exciting time of year, and today it's been really fun to, uh, to get started and get our first seeds of 2021's garden planted. Gardening, I love it. It's just the beginning of gardening season. It's just a feeling of hope. I have so many hopes for this garden this year, how it's going to provide food for my family, how it's going to bring us so much joy growing all of these wonderful plants and getting out in nature together and just doing the hard work. And, and to have those first seeds planted today is just, it's a blessing. So look forward to sharing more about our garden with you here in the future. And with that, have a blessed day, friends. We'll talk to you later.